Cisco Firepower Threat Defense 630 Multi Instance Configuring Firepower Appliance. So we're gonna use FXOS, the extendable operating system to get the appliance ready. And the really cool thing about the extensible operating system is that we can do more, right, than traditional firewall hardware, right? We can actually insert things like radware. We can do things like multi-instance that separate the you know the the actual instance itself to specific hardware on the box we're going to talk more about that in an upcoming video real quick if you look at the interface it's like a very familiar interface that you've seen uh before with a little bit like fire power management center at least the layout you know admin help tools fairly self-explanatory then you have system and you can come into configuration. Now here is where you could um, export the configuration in XML uh, to your local machine or to a remote asset. Um, and therefore, uh, if you need to um, restore the logical devices or platform configuration settings, uh, you can certainly import that from there. Platform settings uh, it are exactly that, very similar to what you see in Firepower Management Center. The goal here is to, to set up some of the things that are uh, specific to the platform itself. So NTP, SSH, SNMP, access control, DNS, etc. When we look at the uh, security engine itself, this is the actual hardware. Um, and you can see that uh, it's currently uh, all green across the board. We can acknowledge security events from here. We can power cycle. We can reinitialize the platform as well. Now, when you do multi-instance, you're gonna have to do that because that is what enables the ability to properly format the disks uh, for multi-instance. We'll talk more about that again later. Um, here, just talking about the logical devices. Again, this will be in another video when we get into this a little bit more. Interfaces, uh, fairly self-explanatory. This is where you come in, uh, configure inter interfaces. You can see very quickly, visually, what's green, what's gray, meaning there's nothing active on it at, at currently. And then uh, what might be red, uh, meaning that the, the link is, is certainly down. The overview uh, provides, again, a summary of what you just saw in the interfaces, at least from an interface perspective. Uh, but then summarizes the IP address, the model, the version that's running, the state of it, the uh, chassis uptime. Here again, you can shut down, uh, reboot, as well as get a summary, uh, again, the uptime, etc. Um, you can see visually your power supplies are good and green, and you can see any faults um, as well. Interfaces, what's up, what's down devices and networks, again, uh, what's up and what's down. You can see smart licensing. And then you have in the inventory uh, piece that talks about the security engine, the fans, the power supply. Because this is only has, um, you know, single uh, platforms on like the 9300, um, you'd only have a, a single hardware device. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about the interfaces. So you can see there's a secondary tab there called Hardware by Bypass. Um, you could actually put fail to wire uh, cards in here as well. Um, but we're gonna talk a little bit about um, the interfaces. So we got management at the very top. <clears throat> That's how we connect to this current box. Um, and then from here, what we're gonna do is start configuring the interfaces for, or to get it ready for our use case. And we'll talk more about that use case. And again, in an upcoming video, I just wanted to give you a good walkthrough of what FXOS is and, and how you might uh, go around configuring some of the basic stuff, right? So enable the interface. In this case, you can see there's data, um, there's management, there's firepower inventing and data sharing. So management and firepower inventing can separate some of the uh, firepower uh, management stuff that we need to do, right? So the events or the management could be separated. Here, we're gonna configure this uh, interface as management, management, and we're gonna use that interface as the management interface uh, for our firepower um, threat defense multi-instances that we deploy on this box. Okay, so the next thing would be is to go through Ethernet 1 through 5 and enable each of those interfaces. And you could see 
um, very quickly there's the interface column but then there's the type uh, column that that shows you what type it is and and by default you can see that those interfaces are set to data so <clears throat> there's a couple ways we can come in and you know edit it very similar to what we've done in the management or we can just use the slider here in this case because we don't need to change the type we just need to enable the interfaces for use so this takes a second to go through each one of these and I'm gonna do this and just to, to show you but um, again it's it's fairly f visual and, and then once we're done here what we'll do is um, obviously your networks got to support how this is going to be configured I have a diagram in the next video that's going to show you uh, our plans of deployment um, but also when you go back into the interfaces and the overview now you should start seeing um, the interfaces show up as green right because now they're enabled and they should be in an up state um, and they should show as green so well, we'll see that in a minute also you can see here visually that there's a little gray circle with a cross in it right like a slash in it to show you that it's down so as we refresh on the over overview page um, you're gonna see those modules come in and here they are right and again if you sit over it for a bit it shows you the admin state the speed etc now at the security engine and I'm going to show this or actually I'm not going to show you we're going to skip this but one important piece of all of this when you're going to do something like multi instance is that you have to reinitialize the platform um, so again we're we're in good state everything's green here but what we would do is initialize the security engine right so you click that it gives you a nice big warning uh, to let you know what you're about to do um, and um, and then you go ahead and proceed. I'm not going to show that. It's just uh, it's going to do its thing, right? So uh, I'm not I'm not just going to say yes here. I'm just going to say no. But you get the idea. If you're going to run multi instance, you're going to want to do that. All right. So we've uh, you know we've looked at the you know system settings. So very briefly looked at tools. We're at platform settings. The security engine itself. We talked a little bit about logical devices. We're going to get into that more in the next uh, video. Uh, interfaces. We did some configuring. Um, we talked about the overview. We could come in here and look at the updates. Um, this is where you can add your FX OS images, but also images that you want to deploy uh, on the platform. So in this case, we're only going to do firepower, <clears throat> excuse me, firepower threat defense, <clears throat> but um, it could be ASA code if you wanted to uh, uh, deploy that as well. Um, it could also be a combination, right, at some point, right? So uh, some really, really cool stuff. But pretty easy, right? Took less than, you know, a few minutes to get uh, the platform ready for multi-instance.